Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a look at this uh, Google Wi-Fi router and this is not a normal uh, kind of a Wi-Fi router. This is a router that creates a mesh network and as you can see I have this box and we have three routers in this. Uh, this Google Wi-Fi was actually sold in single units or a box of three. I opted for the three because for a mesh network you require at least two of the units and my uh, requirements are a little bit weird so I thought of uh, uh, trying this out and this will be the first time I'm going to try out a mesh network so let's see and uh, let's do the unboxing and have a look at this Google Wi-Fi router sadly this is not available as of now in India and I purchased this when I was in US but let's do the unboxing and have a look at this one so here I have the Google Wi-Fi box and as I told you I have the three set one and uh, basic it gives you an idea uh, it says that one Wi-Fi point is okay for 500 to 1500 square feet two for 1500 to 3000 and three for 3000 to 4500 you can actually connect more than three if you want uh, so let's just open this up and have a look and it says that it's compatible with both iPhones and obviously Google Play uh, you're going to use the Android phone to set this up uh, you have to actually use uh, this Google Wi-Fi app to set that up I'll show you that later on but let's just open this and this just comes out like this so let's put it to the side and we have a seal here and let's break that so yeah so actually opens and looks nice uh, it doesn't look like a router as you can see we have three uh, on the bottom actually we have just two USB Ethernet ports and USB type C for the charging of this router and this looks like a LED LED that we have and it just has a G over here and a button over here so very uh, minimal in terms of looks I would say and we have two more again it will be identical so let me just take that out and we should have some paperwork beneath this it says yeah let's take this out so we do get some paperwork and cables and stuff uh, so let's open this so looks like we get some power adapter so we just have one so we'll have three bricks so it's a USB type C that we are getting uh, so that's what it is but this is actually attached so this is not detachable so that's what we have and it says let's get started over here and uh, this one actually has a ethernet cable and a power adapter so it looks like only one will have this ethernet uh, adapter and again the last one is the same you just get a power brick so i'll keep these things to the side and let's set this up now so we are setting up the first uh, router and uh, it gives us some basic instructions that you have to connect it to the wi-fi point and just plug in so this is the adapter that i have plugged in and yes it does support 240 uh, volts to 100 volts that i checked so this is my old router i'm just going to take out this is my internet uh, cable wire that i have and uh, this uh, will be connected to this one this has the internet icon so i'm just going to uh, connect this one here and the other one actually uh, it'll connect to your uh, if you have any other wired connection or let's say in my case i'm going to connect it to a what do you say a hub because a switch because i need more wired connections so that is one limitation that we have only one port we have and this is the usb uh, type c port i'll just connect that and now we have to open that uh, app as i've mentioned let me just bring the phone google wi-fi and i'll disconnect this router later on and uh, here uh, we have that google wi-fi and uh, and it says let's set this up and it, it's a basic guide and it's still in this blue color as you can see so let's hit this get started let me adjust the camera angle guys a little bit yeah this is better and it's trying to find the device it says let's hit okay give all the permissions and it says it needs bluetooth so let's that's surprising it's trying to connect over bluetooth and now it's going to look for this device i was worried that uh, the adapter uh, it might not work in india because we have 240 watts but it is compatible 
and it says Google Wi-Fi point uh, found. So pretty painless and it says scan the QR code. So I'm just going to do that. Just, I love that. And below this, you see a QR code. And it got the code. It says, I'm just going to hit uh, and it's going to do the connection. So pretty straightforward connection. That's the beauty of this one. Uh, it's unlike uh, what do you say normal routers. It's not very complicated. Now you have to just set up your account uh, details, what you get from your ISP. I'll just do that and then we'll continue. So I've added my internet details and uh, it's connecting and it's seamless uh, actually uh, within 10 seconds as you can see now this is important uh, as this is a mesh network we have to specify where is this uh, router so i'm going to say that uh, this is in our uh, i will say actually in my uh, office uh, but not the main office so i'll just say it's near my family room so i'll just select that as the family room just give your network name whatever you have and ideally if you already have a wi-fi connection just use the same uh, ssid it'll be easier so i'll just do that and uh, the password you have to set whatever it was again if you already had a network and you're migrating use the same ssid and the pa uh, password otherwise you have to set the new one on all your devices and now it's going to create uh, and save the settings and uh, looks like this one will should be set now and uh, we have to again um, go and uh, continue the setup on other uh, points where you want the connection and it will create a mesh network so again this will take a couple of seconds and it will be done and this is still this has changed the color a little bit it was uh, blue now as you can see this is uh, changing the color and uh, it's saying it's re-establishing the network so uh, looks like it has set it and it is actually checking if everything is right so again very easy i would say you don't have to be uh, technical how to operate a router and it says uh, how many more uh, wi-fi points do we have so we have uh, two more so we are going to set that i'm just going to select that and it's going to activate the uh, mesh network and now we have to place the next wi-fi point we'll do that and this is the second point as you can see this is an old wi-fi repeater that i was using to extend the wi-fi to my dad's apartment just across and now uh, we are going to replace that uh, uh, with this one i'm just going to connect and this should actually connect to our primary network wirelessly uh, let's try to do that i'm just going to plug this in and switch the power on hopefully yeah it is working so i'll just keep it uh, we'll just set this up quickly and then i'll put it up and uh, let's see if uh, this app actually uh, sees this let it boot for a couple of seconds i'll just wait and it says plug in the power that's done and it's asking uh, uh, where is this one uh, I would say that this is like let's treat this one as the front yard because it's like across so i'll just keep it that and it's saying it's looking for this one so it says it found it so that's nice so the setup is actually pretty easy you have to just follow the prompts what uh, it is saying this allow and uh, yeah, again, it works even on iOS. That's, uh, that means if you have an iPhone, uh, this will work. They have an app for that also. And uh, it should connect. Again, guys, this is because of the MIUI. I'm using a Xiaomi phone. That's why all the permissions. If you're using a regular uh, Android phone, uh, it won't prompt for so many permissions just initially. I think so. I might have to put it up because the connection was a little bit uh, weak in this area already with the repeater but it did add that wi-fi point and uh, as you can see it took about 30 seconds and it did uh, do that so it's again rechecking now i like the fact that it rechecks everything once it's set up so uh let's see and uh, We'll also see the speed test if it did make any difference uh, because I did uh, check the speeds in this area before setting this up and uh, we'll see uh, if there is a speed boost or better coverage after this one. The third one is actually in my uh, 
it's pretty uh, so it says test now so it's testing it so that's nice so this was the third one and this was uh, actually not straightforward because uh, this is actually fl four floors down and i wanted to connect it via a what do you say a wired uh, network and apparently actually it directly you cannot connect it to a wired network you have to first uh, make it uh, connect wireless so i did that and now i'm able to actually as you can see this yellow color wire was coming from the top uh, floor where we had the main router and i've connected via that and this is also working and uh, this is actually going back to my hub that i have here in my office so actually uh, it does work even if you have let's say uh, this was four floors down so the wi-fi was not reaching but i had an ethernet cable so it works via that also so two of them are actually connected wirelessly so they're providing great coverage but again um, i'll just test it for a day and in the later part of the video give you my impressions and the speed test so that's it for the unboxing and setup of this Google Wi-Fi router. In the uh, next part of the video, I'll show you the speed difference and the actual app via which you can control the Google Wi-Fi router. So again, uh, watch the second part of the video for more info. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.